Perfect. Perfect. Come on. Barriers overwhelmed. Auto saving. Archival <laughs> upload commencing. No carrier. No carrier. No carrier. No. Guess we're gonna get the reveal. Let's see. Who's in there? That's definitely Reaper Tech. But what's. The hell is that armor? Oh, ho. Shepherd Commander, help us. What? Legion? But you died during our attack on the collector base. This unit is a reconstruction of the AI intelligence that served with your crew. Oh. You don't remember working with me? No, we only actively remember events that occurred before we left to investigate the old machines. The Geth that was allied to you is dead, Commander. This one serves the Reapers. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. The Geth only allied with Reapers for self-preservation. They should have chosen death. Is it reasonable to expect the Geth to sacrifice themselves for organic races that fear and hate them? Right now, all that matters is disabling that signal. Look at her. Being all glitched up. Ah, oh, that's a midnight episode. The intro is done from the previous parts of the Legion backstory. Great Legion replacement backstory. Let's jump into the game and free Legion V2 from his AI Shakus. Got it. Zen, the signal's about to go offline. Tell the fleet to be ready. I have them patched in, Commander. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. That is looking cool. Zen to Shepard. Something I should know, Commander. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! God, he's cool looking. Oh, that's... Gonna be a difficult fight. My combat drone ready for another round. We have destruction. We have fear, burn, and burn with done channel. Okay, this is recorded right after I went to. <laughs> oh my god, am I good? Throw them. No, no. Oh. No. Uh. 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 I chased myself. <laughs> oh my god, am I good? <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Forward again. Is my drone destroyed? This. Come on, throw it. This thing. This thing. Throw it. Another one. 
burn him. Oh boy, dead is the big boy. Do I have something? Oh my god, damn. Tough. Didn't know we died tough. No, there's a hunter too. <laughs> Admiral Carroll, what were you doing? Ron, check your screens. The dreadnought is helpless. No barriers, and the main gun is off. Fine, we can remove their flagship if we strike now. Damn it, this is our chance to withdraw the civilian fleet. Safely, you cannot Got be that. serious. Pro everything. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet all forward. Take out the dread. No, that's Pachos. This hold position. Shoot. Go out and the heavy fleet gets wiped out. And if we die, a simple retreat won't save you from the death response. Damn you, girl. This is unacceptable. Focus on the gas. We'll worry about the admirals later. Sorry for disrupting that goddamn fight. Um, conversation, I mean, with the fight. The fight comes first. Damn, that thing kicks. Need to stabilize. <laughs> Holy hell. And there's another one of those bad boys. Oh boy. Kill it. Kill it. Ooh. Oh no. Jesus, folks. Sometimes hardcore is just <sighs> overwhelming. And sometimes it's like yo, I must do it. Flanking support on the heavy fleet. Give them a firing lane. Getting challenged. Jump. What was all the things I wanted to say? Oh, I just had a free day resting seminar, resting ring build up. All ships open fire. Bastards. Shepard Commander, the Creator Fleet is firing upon this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Gas transmit intelligence is via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gas fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. I've got the fighter bay on my schematics, Commander. Don't leave without me. Oh, she's gonna die, isn't she? Oh my damn you game. Don't interrupt me. So I didn't record any Silent Hill ahead. Time. probably still the new let's play today or well the day after this video is uploaded the day before i'm trying to finish silent hill before that not a sci-fi moon I'm mystery okay,
It's called Moon Mystery. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! Oh, Admiral Xen is joining us, actually. Good for her. You just waggle the wings or something so I know which one is you. What a funny choker. Truth note is gone. Yeah, at three days where well, I was very busy in today's. It's already Monday, but it was Sunday yesterday, and I just slept for the whole day because I was just losing sleep over there. Working. I got a little segment on the show at least. They fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Not the Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Admiral Zen? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. Damn, the dress is fancy. Fancy. How's it looking? Good, on screen recording. Good, good. You are of control. Let's paragon his ass. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a per- <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet, Han only respects brute force. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. I'm just gonna ignore that he's version 2. No. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Yeah. Cool. My hands glitched into the dress. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm the Legion. The new Legion. I'm gonna talk to him in a second. 
Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Oh. So, lead him to the safest Geth? No, probably not. No, right. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Oh. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. It's a VI reconstruction, Shepard. It isn't a thing you befriended. Thank you. Thank you. It's still on our side. For now. And we still need to find a Ripper base. What do you need? Uh, dress well, my hands don't glitch into it. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Kurian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. <laughs> and in the meantime, oh. you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. Yeah, right. You idiots. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I don't want to talk about the other ships. I want to talk about Legion. To Legion. You prevented physical alteration to this platform by Creator Admiral Zen. We are prepared to share mission-relevant data. Was that a thank you? Please select a topic of inquiry. <laughs> you say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. Live ship damage will impact creator's efficiency. Hostile Geth will gain an advantage. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. We have uploaded the squadron server's coordinates. We are available for this mission. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? Unproductive. We gained no significant data beyond that which we have already shared. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. They do not comprehend the damage done to the Geth's collective reasoning. They likely do not care. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. Fear is an experience reserved for organics. You really don't have any memories of helping me stop the Collectors? While our records confirm this physical platform has previously traveled aboard the Normandy, we have no data of the event itself. Legion, we saved the entire galaxy together. We are not Legion. Oh. What are you, then? 
So how far back does your memory go? Our last available recordings are from three years ago, a landing on Eden Prime. Our platform sustained heavy damage from human colonists. Then you don't remember where you got that armor to fix yourself. Negative. Don't you think it looks familiar? We have no more information on this topic. Oh, I'm confused. What? We'll talk later. Acknowledged. I didn't think this through, did they? I didn't think this through. Just, you know, ruin another Legion copy. Oh boy. Let's see what Choker has to say. But it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken half the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. Lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. The experts here. You've got new messages, Commander. Is it for Miranda? Or Samara? Damn. Can't run with those dresses, though. Infos. Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. No, and they're not. Nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is that tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? So, for humans, blowing up a ship with an ally aboard is kind of a party foul, but I don't want to be culturally insensitive. Are we okay with our new alien buddies doing that? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. So, Legion's a hologram now? Like an artificial intelligence? So it's an AI copy of an AI? And he doesn't even remember us. Man, AIs are weird. Uh, no offense, Edie. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion's backup. The one you encountered on the Dreadnought. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? What? Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. What did you just say? Hello, Shepard. Well, I though. Legion and Eddie. They got their own mod where we can switch outfits. I'm gonna go through that in a second. Maybe switch them up a little bit. Not Eddie. Eddie's gonna stay in that suit. More. I don't know what is new. Backdrop uh, important. Huh. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that immediately. Sorry, squad ready. Okay. Okay, but first outfit change. For everyone. Everyone gets one. Even Legion. Say. Actually, not everyone. Who's in here? I don't know why <laughs> Samara's in here. Uh, uh, I should try. That's an unimportant side mission to see if I can get her. In my squad. Okay, that armor was kind of boring. I definitely need to go armor shopping. Yeah, that kind of fits. And new outfits. Dress in a different color. <laughs> no, not those dresses. Okay, let's go with that one. It's kind of cool. Let's still glitchy. That's a that color combination that I like. Black and red. Crew deck first, then Miranda. It's probably just... Liara. Uh, Nobody else is here. Yeah. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. 
With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? You know he's gonna keep bothering you till you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Seriously, never anything to say. What was all of the backstory of what I did the last three days? Yeah, I had a little resting spot on the show. A pleasure to see you. Look, just a crossbody and a sling blade. Still cool. Cool adrenaline kick. Get out there. Oh, Caden is here. Was perform some wrestling moves in front of a 400 people hot crowd. 400 people. That's not a small audience. So pretty cool, pretty cool. If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make the scope galaxy wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie out. Edie out. Nothing. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. You don't like Legion. Got a few things on my plate. Got a few things on my plate. Must be food and not stories. Okay, no one else important. I need no armors. I hope I have the money. Something cool for once. Only oh, four bits. And back to Miranda. With a new cool hair. Side missions. Yeah. We might make one side mission episode. Presidium comes, I believe she is in. Dock. The line stalks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need yeah. a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Remy. Don't give me a goddamn cutscene. I can't skip. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go visit here. And I'm gonna go shopping, and if I see something important, I will put it in as an outro. Is it this way? No. Probably can't find her again. Gaza. Gaza Blanca. That's, I say it. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? 
I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, well, this bye. thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. I mean, good luck. Good luck, of course. Ah, oh, Miranda, a master of disguise in my Let's Play with like 15 different haircuts and multiple different outfits. Stamina OG outfit. Oh, who that? A reporter. Now, okay, I'm gonna go shopping. I don't have much credits. I just don't understand. Oh. Oh, I'll see if I can do something with it. Also, Leara should be around the corner. Maybe she wants to talk to me for once. Leara? You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble, digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Friends on Let's Play! <laughs> okay. We might be done here. If I feet in the seas of money, Then we're not done. I uh, found someone here to talk. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Let's talk. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. 
lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. Really? No, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. I like Caden, actually. I feel like he's very likable, way more than Ashley. Um, I don't know which one is the option to friendzone him here. <laughs> uh, both seem like the option to friendzone him. Feelings mutual. You're my brother, Caden. Oh. I'm glad you're part of the crew. <laughs> What'd you call it? <clears throat> a sanity check? Mm. Sanity oh. check. Yep. Yeah. Get your sanity check. Get friends on bro. <laughs> oh yeah. And he's gone. <laughs> Crying in the corner. Oh. I hit the right option. Good job on me. That should be a pat on my shoulder. Where's my face cam? Where's my face cam? There we go. Mm. Nope. I pressed something wrong. <laughs> 